from the mountain I was stuck on last time, I headed down into Cannes and had a fantastic weekend with my girlfriend. From there, I headed up into the mountains for cooler weather and stopped in this cute little village. Well, I stopped at many villages, but this is the only one I filmed. And from then, I went and found this cool campsite you're looking at now. I then attempted to have a dip in the freezing cold Alpine River. Uh, here's me psyching myself up and then me contemplating life. the next day well the weather forecast i looked at was completely wrong because it said it was going to be sunny this morning and it is raining currently so i'm washing my dishes under my boot lid and every now and then there's the loudest clap of thunder so i'm washing my dishes and getting the heck out of here because i'm on a mud road and i don't want this road to disintegrate i moved further down the road sat in my car editing for a couple of hours and then i moved and sat in my car editing again Well, I don't know if you heard that, but the weather is atrocious. Don't worry, James, it got much worse. Well, welcome to Italy. Ah, it's cold. I mean, that's Italy, but... Wow, not the welcome to Italy I was hoping for. My God, I'm soaking. Uh, welcome to Italy, I guess. Sunny, sunny Italy. <laughs> right, I don't know if you can hear, but the um, rain has turned to hail and it's getting pretty heavy and the lightning is getting... Well, it's getting pretty close, if I'm honest. I can see the lightning strikes which I've never been able to see before in my life. So maybe that's normal for some people, but it's not for me. Um, so there's a debate. Do I, I just try and quickly drive down the mountain, obviously safely, or do I just park up somewhere and stay still? There's a few other cars parked up on the side of the road. So I think I'm going to do the same and just try and ride it out. Let the storm pass a little bit before I um, go down further. Because it's, yeah, it, I don't feel too totally comfortable continuing because I'm going towards the storm and I can see I can see the lightning striking in the valley below me. So if I'm above where the lightning's striking, that's probably not the best idea. But I don't know what to do. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and not touch anything metal and hope, I guess. So wish me luck. It seems the weather's finally broke and it's quite sunny. A lovely spot for our campsite. Really happy with it. Very quiet. Got incredibly fast internet speeds. So I can watch YouTube and Netflix all night. I know what you're thinking. And yes, my feet are cold early the next morning as you can tell it is way sunnier today all the bad weather has gone it's baking hot and i think i'm going to try and go on a hike i'm going to travel back to that um pass the alpine pass i came through yesterday because it was so beautiful and i think i'm going to do a hike in there for today so come along with me I've started the hike. I didn't want to film at the beginning because it was a busy car park and it was cringy. But look at that. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Walking through this valley at the moment. There's loads of, I'll try and get them on camera. There's loads of like, I don't know what they are, like gophers, marmots. I've no idea what they are, but they're very cool. Yeah, there's instructions to not go near the 
shepherds, guard, do guard dogs that are around because there's shepherds around this valley. And I was thinking, wow, what are the guard dogs for? And then the sign said the guard dogs will protect them from wolves, which suddenly makes me apprehensive thinking, well, how many, how many wolves are there around here? Because <laughs> I'm just a... I'm just a small boy in a big valley with wolves apparently, so that's that's no fun. Where's my guard dog? Well, that's not a good sign. Uh, if the walk keeps going the way it does, I think that might be me. I don't think I want to know what's killed it. <laughs> Starting the climb out of the valley now. Um, I am so pathetically unfit, but the views are nice, and that's what's keeping me going. Not doing many of those because it sucks coming back all the time. We are climbing out now, it's starting to get really steep and I'm starting to get really tired. <coughs> Ooh, taking my first break. I don't know if you can see up there where it's going but it's a busy busy trail, there's a lot of people on it. Um, but my word, it's, it's already hard and I'm probably only about a quarter of the way in so <laughs> wish me luck. Well, that was absolutely lovely. As you can tell, I had a lay down, even had a bit of a nap. I ate my lunch. I just chilled, enjoyed the view, watched some men fish. And now I'm gonna head back down. I reckon it'll be about two hours back to the car. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I managed to set up a camera trap with my phone by one of these animal holes. I still don't know what they're called. Let me know, please. Gophers, marmots, prairie dogs. And I caught this cute clipper one. Well, this is where the storytelling completely falls apart. I didn't film anything for the next few days. From there, I headed down into Italy because I noticed the weather was going to be terrible in the mountains. And I stayed in a city called Chirino for the night and met some incredible people and went out for drinks with them. And then from there, I went to wine country, which you're about to see in a second, some drone footage of, and I had a fantastic couple days. So this is essentially a few days later. I'm sorry for the gap. From there, I pretty much drove around for a day and a half enjoying wine country. I stopped in Barolo, where the wine variety Barolo is named after, and had the best lunch of my life. It started off with a pasta dish, then some sort of incredible lamb dish. It was amazing. Two glasses of wine and I was a happy bunny. I soon realised it was far too hot to be camping around here, so I hightailed it to the lake.
and at Lake Auto is where you can find me now. Well, not right now. Right now I'm sat in my car editing this video in the rain in the middle of town and I've been here for about five hours, so it's not that great. I just want to clarify, I'm not like a vlogger. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I forget to film all the time or I just realise I can't be bothered filming because I'm enjoying the moment, but I'm trying, all right. I'm trying. I was supposed to be editing on Saturday. I dedicated Saturdays as my edit day, but here I am, Monday, and I still haven't edited. 